みなさん、こんにちは。スコット・ピリです。Hello, everyone. My, my name is Scott Perry, and I'm your host today. And this is Let's Talk Hawaii, live from Honolulu, Hawaii. This is a program about English pronunciation, communication, and interesting things and people in Hawaii. You can see me here every other Tuesday at 3 p.m. That would be 10 a.m. in Japan. You can also find me at scottperryacademy.com. Today's topic is getting around in Hawaii. 今日のトピックは、ハワイにどうやってあちこち行けるとか、How to move around in Hawaii. So, <clears throat> if you remember last week, I told you about the number of Japanese tourists that come to Hawaii. 先週の話は、えー、日本人、なんかハワイに来る日本人は何人がいるんでしょうかで The answer was surprising to many people. 5万5,500 people on average arrive every day in Hawaii. So that's a lot of Japanese. それは日本人がいっぱいですよね。毎日5500人が来るんでしょう。で、ということは、大体1週間に、えー、5 days ぐらいにいるんで、ということは、every day leaving, Every day coming. 一週間の中には、about 40,000 Japanese people are in Hawaii at any time during the week. That's a lot of Japanese tourists. So, the question is, what do they do when they get here? 日本人がこっちに来て、もう5000人が来るとか、何するんだろうでしょうかで、まあ、いろいろですよね。でも、<clears throat> Japanese people are very、uh, efficient. Tourists, many times they will plan their entire tour exactly like they're going to do. And they execute that plan very well. Before they get here, they've researched where they want to go, what they want to do. So there's not a lot of room for variation. Everything is planned out, but a lot of times they're planning on visiting interesting locations, restaurants, and Instagram spots. Instagram の人たちがよく来て、あ、Instagram の人たちじゃなくて、日本人が来て、Instagram が流行っているところに行きたいです。So one of the ways they're going around is with、um, Buses and、um, uh, cars, taxis. That's okay, but I heard there's a new way to get around in Hawaii. There's a new eco friendly、um, method to get around in Hawaii. And today I have with me a special guest. His name is Ryan Jackson, and he's the owner of a special tour company. That has an eco friendly. I don't even know how to explain it, but I will let him explain it. So, right now, I'd like to introduce Ryan Jackson. Hi, Ryan. Hey, Scott, how are you doing? I'm doing good. So,、Excellent. thanks for coming on the show. No, thank you for inviting me. Yeah.、Um, so, 5,500 Japanese people come here every day. That's correct. And、uh, they're coming here to see. Many things. What do they like to see?、Um, well, Japanese, they like to see many different things. So I think a large part of Japanese culture in general is food.、Sure. Uh, so there are a lot of different interesting places to enjoy、uh, local cuisine here in、mm. Hawaii. So whether it be in Waikiki or even outside of Waikiki, there are a lot of Interesting eateries、mm. that many Japanese people have. So, the food is very good. The food is very i m The food is very important. The food is very important. The food is very important. What else do they do?、Um, of course, <laughs>、uh, shopping is, is very popular. <laughs>、uh, that's probably one of the biggest reasons that people come to Waikiki. <laughs> But there are a lot of outdoor activities that people can enjoy also. So、mm. there's a lot of hiking, uh, snorkeling, uh, water sports.
Mm. Uh, there's interesting places like Kakako, which is Kakako. Yes, Kakako yes. is getting is is very famous. Becoming for, more popular. Become, Kakako. What is Kakako known for? Kakako is actually known for its wall art. Mm. Um, so every year in February there is a festival called Pow Wow, and many popular artists, graffiti artists, tattooers, mm. um, street artists, uh, mainly they come from around the world, and for one week. They paint different murals mm. and new wall art mm. in Kakako. Kakako, you know, uh, 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 Art, and they paint on the walls of this. And uh, they make very interesting uh, pictures that many Japanese come and take pictures with. So I, 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 I've seen that. I've been, I drove past. Nankai mo, very interesting art on the wall. I see. And does your, do you, um, do you take people to that location? Uh, yeah, so we do actually take um, people to Kakako. Mm -hmm. So our, you know, my, my company, Irby Hawaii, we use um, small foldable electric vehicles. Okay. It's, it's very similar to riding a bicycle, but it's a little bit different okay. because it's 100% electric. It's eco-friendly and you don't have to pedal, <clears throat> which is nice because, you know, Hawaii, it mm -hmm. gets very, very hot. So, so there's a lot of, so you say electric mm -hmm. bicycle? Similar to a bicycle, but it actually, it does not have pedals. So you don't have to pedal. Um, it's similar to riding uh, like a scooter or a moped, actually. Interesting. Um, so, sozo deki nikui kara, I think we have a video that can uh, better explain what this Irby is. Can we see that video? So that's an Irby. That's interesting. Um, I saw you in the video too, Ryan. Uh, that was you with uh, one of your tourists? Uh, yeah, that was one of the tourists. That was a private, uh, private ride, actually. But private actually, rides. one of the unique things about Irby rides is that they are all private. Uh, so it's really good for couples or families or honeymooners because it just gets a little bit more of an, an intimate, personal experience. I see. So private tours, you organize the tours. Yes. When did you create this company? Uh, we started Irby Hawaii about, about two years ago, actually. Two. So the original Irby company um, is from Los Angeles, California. I'm, I'm actually from Los Angeles. Okay. And about two years ago, um, I had the idea that the Irby as a vehicle might work out really well in Hawaii. So, uh, so Irby started in California and Pasadena, you said? Yes, it started in Pasadena, which is um, in Los Angeles, California. 
Okay. And then I thought originally it was designed as a last mile solution. So, for example, it's What, very. What's a last mile solution? The last one is a last mile solution. What is it? Um, so, in terms of transportation, more specifically urban transportation,、uh, the last mile is a very difficult problem for many people to solve. So, basically, <clears throat> making a type of vehicle that is compatible with public transportation. So, for example, if I live one mile away from the closest train station, what is the most efficient way for me to get from my home? To the train station. Ah, なるほど。Take the train to, for example, downtown, and then from the train station in downtown, how do I get to the last mile, which could be a business meeting or it could be my office? How? What is the most efficient、okay. way to fix or to make that last mile not so troublesome? なるほど。ということは、えー、last mile solution で二キロ、二点二キロですね。あのまあ。渋滞になるとか、lots of traffic、mm-hmm. and it gets busy, so parking issues. Parking だし、mm-hmm. だからそれはなんかちっちゃくなりますよね。Mm-hmm. で、I could drive なんか半分ぐらいなんかだいたい二キロまで行って、mm-hmm. park my car,、yes. lower price, put the Irby from my trunk,、yep. and drive to office. Exactly. So they fold it up and how big is it? It, it, it it's once it's folded up, it's actually very small.、Mm-hmm. It's you can keep it in the corner of your office、mm-hmm. or you keep it in the corner of your apartment. It does not take up a lot of space, and then you just plug it into a regular wall outlet,、mm-hmm. and then it takes four hours to charge the battery. Thank you, this now. And then you can get approximately, I would say, around twenty miles per charge. How many kilos is that?、Uh, it's around thirty-two kilos. 三十二キロぐらいですね。Mm-hmm. あとは、えー、まあサイズがちっちゃくてこのぐらいで、fold up で匂いもないよね、because it's、mm-hmm. it's electric. There's no smell like no a gas smell, engine. No smell, no gasoline or anything no like that. No oil, nothing. No oil. It's ah, oil とか何もないんで匂いもないしだからオフィスに置いて邪魔ならないしで何時間で how long does it take to charge? It takes about four hours to charge. 四時間の四時間の間にな charge up できるでそれで三十三十二キロ弱がいけそうですね。それはすごく便利ですね。So another question:、mm-hmm. um, Are they for sale or do you just do the tours? Right now, we just,、um, our main focus is the tours,、mm-hmm. but you know, we are looking、um, into doing more sales. There has been a large interest from the local community、mm-hmm. uh, that is looking for this type of vehicle to solve their transportation needs.、Mm-hmm. Uh, coming from Los Angeles, I thought the traffic was really, really bad. When I came to Honolulu, I was, I was shocked、um, uh, at how, even though it's a, it's a small island, but you know、mm. there are some significant transportation issues.、Challenges. And I think there,、mm. you know, with the you know the introduction of the train system coming, I think there's going to be more of a need for these last, last mile, mile solution. Last so, the, mile solution. Last mile solution. This is the one point of Joho. Last mile solution. So. Getting the last mile, no taxi, no、uh, Uber, just ride your scooter and you're there. And so,、mm, so I I've seen other tours in Hawaii. I've、mm-hmm. seen、um, a, a long line of people.、Mm-hmm. Those are the one wheel Segway. The is that a Segway or the the the, the two yeah the two tandem、okay. wheels yeah those are you know the Segways. So、okay. um, so what's the difference between a Segway and an Irby?、Um, I'd say the main difference is probably where you ride them. Segways、um, you know legally they stay on the sidewalk,、okay. whereas in Irbys legally it's classified as an as an electric bicycle.、Okay. So we stay in the bike lanes and then the bike paths also. なるほど。So Irby とあの。セグウェイとの違い、セグウェイがそのなんかでっかいウィールが二つで、こうやって動くやつですね。それの違いは、セグウェイがサイドワークでも平気、エビが電気自動車、電気車、電気自転車みたいに、あ、thank you。で、has to ride on the bike lane。so that is one of the、uh, big differences ですね。Okay, and because we ride in the bike lanes, we have a little bit more freedom in terms of, of where we go. 
So most of our tours, well, all of our tours start, start out of Waikiki, and then we have three main courses. Okay. So the main courses are going let, to be... Oh, let, me, let, me, let me get back to that main course. That okay. sounds very interesting. Okay. We're going to take a very short break, okay. and we will be right back right after this. Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines. I was the head coach for the Punahou Boys varsity tennis team for 22 years, and we we're fortunate to win 22 consecutive state championships. This show is based on my book, which is also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about leadership, creating a superior culture of excellence, achieving and sustaining success, and finding greatness. If you're a student, parent, sports or business person, and want to improve your life and the lives of people around you, tune in and join me on Mondays at 11 a.m. as we go Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha. Hi guys, I'm your host Lillian Kumik from Lillian's Vegan World. I'm, I come to you live every second Friday from 3 p.m. And this is the show where I talk about the plant-based lifestyle and veganism. So we go through recipes, some upcoming events, uh, information about health, regarding your health, and uh, just some ideas on how you can have a better lifestyle, eat healthier, and have fun at the same time. So do join me. I look forward to seeing you. and. Uh, Aloha. Hello again, I'm Scott Perry, your host of Let's Talk Hawaii, and I'm here with Ryan Jackson of Irby Tours. He's the owner of Irby Tours, and he's been explaining to me how to get around in Hawaii, a very interesting and eco-friendly way to travel. で、皆 I was asking about the difference between your Irby and mm -hmm. the Segway which I I've, I've tried the Segway mm -hmm. it was interesting mm -hmm. but I think they don't seem to go where yours go um, yeah, the, the, the rides or the courses are a little bit different. Um, so actually, we get a lot of repeaters to Hawaii. And, you know, we have a lot of customers that are here for the first time, but have also been to Hawaii many times. So we have people that do the Segway and the Irby. You know, mm -hmm. it's kind of nice to have that mix because even though the routes might be a little bit similar, you know, the experience is going to be different also. Uh. So in terms of... Um, I'd say the main differences are going to be one that, you know, we are private, all of our groups are private, but and our courses are going to be a little bit more different also. Mm -hmm. So who are some of the people that mm -hmm. come to Hawaii with you? Who's some of the mm -hmm. people on your tour? Um, who comes here? So in terms of, we're talking about people uh, that any our audience people? may have know, may know of? Okay, so uh, we've been fortunate enough to do uh, some rides and TV shows with uh, some Japanese talents. So, for example, uh, Maizono, Maizono-san, Maizono okay. uh, the soccer player. The soccer player. Okay. Uh, so we were on a TV show called uh, Hawaii ni Koishite. Hawaii ni Koishite. Uh, mm, so, so we also had on that show, it was uh, Nishikawa-san. Nishikawa-san. From right. TM Revolution. TM Revolution on Nishikawa-san. Ato. Ano, Tabi Sarada. Tabi Sarada. And that was with uh, Aoki Ai-san. She was... Na, uh, nani Sarada? Uh, chicken salad. <laughs> chicken salad. <sarada>. Okay. <laughs> Tabi sarada. Okay. So, um, yeah, Aoki Ai san, she was an uh, Olympic uh, synchronized ah, swimmer. Swimmer. Aoki Ai, hi. Aoki Ai. And Anyone then also else? Uh, Himura. Himura san. Himura san. Uh, the, uh, the comedian. Comedian, yes. Okay, uh, he wears the uh, interesting. Yeah, the, the kimono. Kimono. Uh, Himura. 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 Also, one more high hill Momoko. High hill Momoko. Yes, she was. Who is high hill Momoko? She is from Osaka and she's very. Okay. Great big, big personality. She was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. High hill Momoko. High hill Momoko. So, if you come to Hawaii and you jump on an Irby tour, you might be able to see one of these people again. I'm not going to make that promise. <laughs> so I have some pictures of some of your tours. Can, mm -hmm. um, can, I, can I ask you to explain some of these sure, photos sure, for sure. me? Sure, sure, sure. Great. 
So I see two people here. What's going on? Is this a regular couple tour? Or what uh, is yeah, it? this was a couple's tour. Um, so great, great couple from New York. So we did the Diamond Head Ride and Hike. That's where this picture was taken from. So we have a standard Diamond Head course, but the hike is optional. Uh, so for those that want to hike to the top of Diamond Head, that is one mm. of the options um, you know, of our tour, which also makes it unique. Okay, another slide. Um, looks like, uh, that looks like, uh, yeah, it, so where is that? That is actually on the way into the inside of Diamond Head Crater. Ah, Diamond Head Crater. Yes. Okay. Uh, so that's a nice shot overlooking uh, Kahala, Hawaii. You can see uh, Hanuma Kunoa, Bay in the background. Uh, Hanama, Han Hanuma Bay and uh, Coco Head. Head. Okay, good. Yeah, so you can see, you know, our riders, the minimum age is 15, but we have riders that go all the way past 70. Wow. Uh, so it really just depends on, you know. Okay. Kara no mm. It really just depends on the rider's ability in terms of whether they can mm. participate okay. on the tour. Next slide, please. Okay, we've got two Genki yes, tourists. Yes, I believe that is a honeymoon couple. So this is one of the most famous art pieces in Kakako. It's called Monster Party by Kevin Lyons. Um, really, really popular. Monster Party. Monster Party. So a lot of Japanese like to go there and take pictures in front of this specific piece. It's a lot of fun. The colors are amazing. Just makes great Instagram material also. Good, good. So we have another slide coming up. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five. How many people can go on a tour? Um, we like to cap it um, the maximum at seven people. And that's the, uh, the most that we feel comfortable. And that's the safest amount. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we do our groups, you know, it's not going to be a huge long line. <laughs> it's going to be, you know, it, it's seven. Seven is the max. Okay. maximum yeah. there. Party が17人以上だったら two tours ですよね。Two tours, yeah, we split it up. Okay. These, these are nice guys here? Yeah,、Good、I believe、guys. that's a company outing right there.、Um, so, we actually, mm. so, yeah, actually, we've been getting more、um, reservations from companies and corporations that want to do some team building or have、mm. a unique experience for their team members or department. Great. And、uh, one more slide. And, oh, is that the honeymoon couple? Uh, that is a different honeymoon couple, and、ah. that's actually at Magic Island, which is it's interesting because Magic Island is it's really beautiful, but it's real it's a little bit far from Waikiki.、Mm -hmm. So you know, getting there it, it's it's a little bit too far to walk.、Now、Parking is great. Okay, what Diamond Head we can see.、Mm -hmm. so、typical Hawaiian <clears> day, <throat> and、uh, very happy looking customers. So,、um, how much does a typical tour cost? Um, the tours, you know, they range in price, you know, depending on the course. But I would say the average tour、uh, is around one hundred thirty-five to one hundred fifty dollars. Okay. So depending on the course. 一万二三千円から一万五千円ですね。で、several hours. Ah,、uh, yeah. So depending, you know, we have a shorter tour that you know it starts. It's around two hours, but the longer tours, and especially if you add in the hike, it can get up to four, four and a half, five hours.、Um, okay. You know, we we do two tours and. Per day,、okay. so one in the morning and one in the afternoon, and we don't like to rush our tours. Also, so we don't overbook. Relax, the time. So, the tour is seven people, about one thousand five hundred or one thousand three hundred yen. And the tour is in the morning and the afternoon. And the tour is in the morning and the afternoon. Lunch or hiking plus alpha no jikan ni narimasu. Extra time for that, right? Exactly. So、okay. we, it's not just riding the Yerby. You know, we like to stop at some popular、so、places to, to eat, and like a popular cafe in Kakako, or we might have you know, lunch on Montserrat Avenue,、um, okay. you know, Bogart's you know, Pioneer、sure. Saloon. You know, there's a lot of popular places, and we try and integrate that in to the experience of the ride. Good. So, Now, the most important question. Yes. Yes. I have lots of Japanese viewers and、mm -hmm. students who、okay. often come to Japan. Okay. もし誰かが、eh, wants to try an Irby tour with、okay. me and, or you and whoever,、mm -hmm. uh, discount できますか Discount. Okay, we're talking about the money. Yeah, so, discount. If you inquire online at urbihawaii.com, that's U R B E Hawaii.com, if you make a reservation and then you mention thinktechhawaii.com, 
we can go ahead and give you a 10% discount. Mention Think Tech Hawaii and we get a discount. I want 11%. 11%. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Okay, great. So mm -hmm. that's very interesting. Now, I noticed that there were a lot of, um, there's <clears throat> many people, but most of them were Japanese. Who's your largest audience? Who's your largest audience? Yes, we, uh, you know, we get people from all around the world doing our rides, our tours, but I would say, most of them are actually Japanese customers. Mm. So um, on our rides, we have Japanese speaking tour guides to make everybody feel more comfortable. Uh, tour guides are Nihonjin. Mm. De, Nihon de, ano, do you advertise in Japan also? Um, we do some, most of our advertising is actually done online. Mm. Um, we get a lot of uh, through word of mouth. Um, that's, you know, we have, uh, we get a lot of, of referrals that way. Okay. And then you can find us in different um, travel companies that are you know, selling our rides as optional tours. Great. Mm -hmm. Now, so many Japanese come in Nihonjin ga ippakite, and mm -hmm. uh, you are speaking to them in English, Japanese? Uh, it's a little bit of both. Um, a mix, ne? It's a little bit of both. You know, sometimes I get people that you know, they want to practice their English or they want to speak English. So, you know, I'll, I'll do most of the tour in English. But mm -hmm. for other people that maybe don't want to speak English or you Japanese, know, Japanese, only. Okay. You know, Japanese only. So it really so, depends on the situation. So the Japanese who are coming, who mm -hmm. want to speak English, uh, yes. what is their biggest challenge? Their biggest challenge? I'd say one of their bigger challenges is sometimes they can you know, say and speak certain things, but maybe they don't speak loud enough or maybe their pronunciation may not be clear enough. So maybe they, they get asked to repeat uh, mm. Things many times or sometimes maybe once they start repeating things the confidence level goes uh, down 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 And then they, they just maybe might give up. I, I completely understand mm. Mm. And or the hot on is not good enough and excuse me pardon me. What did you say? So they, people are losing confidence. So I've got a solution for that. Solution, uh, you can um, improve your pronunciation and I can tell you more about that. But um, how do they solve this problem? They just struggle or what do they do? Um, yeah, sometimes, you know, they do struggle. I think, you know, Waikiki mm -hmm. is unique in that you have a lot of people in Waikiki that can speak a little basic level Japanese. Got it. But outside of Waikiki, it becomes more important to be able to raise your English level so you can have more experiences outside of Waikiki. Okay. Well, that was a lot. So thank you, mm -hmm. Ryan um, of Irby Tours, and I'm Scott Perry, your host of Let's Talk Hawaii. And uh, that was How to Get Around in Hawaii. Looking forward to seeing you in two weeks. Have a great day.